Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be a client's Four Directions reading. Just get myself situated here. <clears throat> I'll be working with the Wild Unknown Tarot and the Native Spirit Oracle for your reading. Go ahead and get yourself comfortable. You can take a notebook out if you like. Take notes on the reading. I'm gonna pull out a couple crystals. Um, I have a labradorite here to help with my um, intuition. Smoky quartz for grounding. Some black obsidian for protection. And of course my whale stone as the whale is my uh, spirit guide or one of them. <laughs> so just symbolic for them being present for the reading. And then, of course, a clear quartz to enhance the message for you. And we're just going to do a quick little smoke cleanse of the space. Okay. Okay, my love. So... Um, while I do the reading, I just want you to keep in mind that um, whatever comes through, if you're taking notes, write it down. Sometimes it's easier for you to watch the video through the first time and then come back to it with a clearer mindset. Um, after you let things sink in, sometimes stuff that doesn't make sense will usually make sense. Um, and everything just takes time. We're going to be looking at the four directions of your life. Ooh, we already got a card flew out. So I'll take that as a, as a sign that Spirit wants the message to start flowing. Okay, so let me just look for my spread here. <clears throat> um, four directions. Okay, so first we're going to be looking at the East card. Whoops, sorry my love. My little camera, my tripod doesn't, he doesn't like to stand on his own sometimes. There we go. The East card, this reveals what is beginning in your life, what needs to begin, or what you need to search for and explore. So what is beginning or what needs to begin in your life? Oh my goodness. This tripod. <laughs> I apologize. I think it's heavy on one side. Let me see. Push the phone over a little bit. Hopefully that will stand it up better. Okay. Okay, so you actually got two for the East card. We have Flowing River and Elder. So this is what reveals what is beginning in your life or what needs to begin. Elder and flowing river. Flowing river, everything is falling into place because you aren't resisting the drift of the great river of life. So this is saying that things are falling into place as they're meant to right now in your life as this is beginning. So we're looking at the beginning or what needs to start happening. This is telling me that the flowing river is saying you need to let things go and let things flow as they're meant to. Stop having control and stop trying to control every little aspect of your life. The elder card is making me feel like this is a guide or this is a specific person in your life. But let's see what the guidebook says. 
the elder, confidence entering your power, standing strong, you are a leader, stepping into light, let your truth be heard and felt by others, make a stand in life, you carry deep inner wisdom, you're a teacher and a leader in the deepest sense of the words, you are a beacon for others. This is really important because I feel like as you are allowing life to evolve around you and not have so much control over every little thing you're actually growing wiser um so perhaps you were recently coming from an existence of needing to be in super control um you know and maybe you have the tendency because I'm, I'm still i'm hearing right now controlling in relationships so i'm feeling like maybe you you had some bouts of um distrust not trusting others in relationships when it came to love this is the card that wanted to pop out when i was shuffling this is the temperance card um so this can go in alignment with your relationships and this is not just romantic relationships this could be a relationship with your family members if you have children this could be relationships with um friends or co-workers and, and anybody that you come into contact with what is needing to begin and start up in your life what you need to embrace more of is being in the leadership role speaking your inner truth but at the same time not having so much control allowing the flow of life to happen for yourself so that's in the east position um let's go ahead into the into the south this reveals what is expanding in your life this is what you should be growing and working towards so what's expanding what you need to be growing and working towards in your life medicine bag I love that. So the medicine bag, what is expanding in your life? Medicine bag to me is about healing. Gather your resources, be discerning. Vast inner power is growing in your life. So again, lots of inner power. This is inner work with yourself. You're really stepping into your um, into your own footsteps, basically, is I feel like you're really starting to become the version of yourself that you've always wanted to become. Step back and let it grow. There are times to shine brightly for all to see, and there's also times to choose carefully who sees your true self. Choose wisely. Do not make hasty decisions. If it doesn't feel right, hold back. You're protected from any less than positive outside influences. Your capacity and potential are growing in leaps and bounds. So I love it. I feel like it's just kind of saying like you're becoming your own person. But sometimes um, if you're intuitively feeling like this isn't the right person to be around, this isn't the right um, experience for me, you really need to start paying attention to those things. When you need to say no, you need to say no. When you want to say yes, say yes, you know. Taking ownership of your choices and your actions. Um, all while embracing more new beginnings of letting life flow as it's meant to flow for yourself. That's a beautiful message right there for you. This is what's expanding more. You're going to be much more cautious. You're going to be much more... Um, aware of the types of people that you allow into your inner circle, aware of your choices. You're going to be much more aware of what's happening around you in your life and how it makes you feel. And also coming into your own inner power with inner power and wisdom, you know, comes that oh we have the wheel of fortune so this is a shift this is a major shift for you we have the empress card so that's to me that's kind of saying um the the wheel of fortune is it's the the times are rolling it's it's karma it is everything that you've been building up and working towards you're going to start to see this stuff manifest 
And as this stuff starts to happen, as you grow, I'm getting the vision right now of a snake shedding its skin. I feel like this is a year um, of a lot of growth and development for you. I think you're going to see a lot of advancements in different areas of your life. And some of these advancements are going to require you to really step into your own as a leader. I think that you're going to be tested. Um, so intuitively, like I'm channeling, I feel like you're going to be tested in a way both perhaps with your um, friendship or social circles. Um, this could be love romance or just plain old friends, um, but there's gonna be a test for you, I feel, where you're really gonna have to see how, um, just how precious you consider yourself and where you allow yourself to be treated and mistreated and, and, and respected and disrespected with people. I feel like there's a lot of cycles you're going to be breaking as the Wheel of Fortune just really makes me think of cycles. Um, the Empress card, she's all about creation. Empress energy is creating new things. Um, it's giving birth and giving life to new things or things that maybe have started to dwindle. So as you are stepping into your own new power this year, you may find yourself inspired. You may find yourself wanting to really embrace um, things and areas about yourself that maybe you've let go of. So this could be, you know, getting into new routines for health, taking care of yourself. This is, you know, simple stuff like trying out new recipes and cooking more or doing a project or that makes you feel fulfilled, reading more books. Like I want you to start thinking and if you're taking notes and you're reading my love, I want you to start writing down a list of goals, a list of creative aspects of yourself. How can you express yourself in a creative way? Um, and I think a lot of the times we think of ourselves as we have to be artists <laughs> to create, and that is so not true. You can create in different ways. You may be great with writing. You may be great with cooking or um, sewing or baking or reading, um, you know, even setting up, like figure out a space in your home that you want to learn to kind of redecorate, you know, and do it over or cl clean out your garage or just those are all ways of you expressing yourself and it's a creative way. So I feel like that's what that is. And I feel like this card just kind of symbolizes life. You're bringing life and vibrancy to yourself. And I see that's what's going to be taking place as the cards are kind of showing you are going to be stepping into your own power and you're going to be embracing how just how special you are and that may come with letting go of people or letting go of old habits or thoughts limited beliefs that um, are holding you back versus letting you or setting yourself free okay so let's look at the um the west West is, this reveals what you are harvesting or gathering. It can also represent what you need to release or clutter clear of your life. So what are you harvesting or what do you need to let go of? Dream Traveler. You're getting a lot of the same cards that I was getting, <laughs> which is really cool. Okay. First things first with the Dream Traveler, what are you needing to um, harvest? This is more intuition, okay? Dream Traveler is dreaming the dream state. More of that intuitive side of yourself. So let's see what Dream Traveler says, and then we'll... Um, We'll move forward. You are a channel for spirit. Trust your intuition, hunches, and gut reactions. This is a visionary card with the message that you're on the right path, even if it doesn't always seem like it. Your higher self and spiritual guides, ancestors, guardians are watching over you and supporting you. You're blessed and you are a blessing. You are a dreamer in the most wondrous definition of the world. I'm going to go ahead and read more because I feel like this is what's going to really embrace you. The native spirit wants you to know in earth-based tribal traditions, people looked to those unique individuals who had the ability to journey during their nocturnal dreams to bring back wisdom and guidance for the tribe. 
Dreamers were able to step through sacred portals in the night to commune with those on the other side. You carry the energy of the visionary, healer, and seer. Watch your dreams. Messages from the creators are flowing to you. So what do you need to bring in? What do you need to harvest? More of your intuition, trusting those gut instincts, trusting your, your spirit guides, your messages, the anything that you receive that you feel is from beyond. If you sense spirit around you, it's time to embrace more of this aspect of your life rather than pushing it away. As far as what you need to kind of let go of, I feel like this is more so like people who are limiting you, people who might not get this side of you. If this is a part of your life that you've always wanted to, um, I would say, dabble with, um, it's time that you, you embrace more of that. I feel like this is also letting go of people who are not as spiritual. Um, everybody has their own form of spirituality. We all have our own way of connecting with God. Um, and I feel like some people in your life may be much more aggressive with it than others. And they're not as understanding. If you have people like that that are so close-minded and they're limiting you, those are the ones that I'm talking about that you need to let go of. Um, I also feel, feel like this is trusting in your inner wisdom. So perhaps you have a lot of prophetic dreams. You have a lot of like feelings or maybe you receive a lot of your answered prayers through your dreams. This card is kind of saying like you need to embrace more of that. Writing down your dreams. What do you feel from it? I pulled the Ace of Swords, which is a communication card. So this is kind of like saying God is communicating to you through your dream state. So whatever kind of dreams that you have been having lately, um, if you feel like they're messages or they are somewhat answers to prayers that you've set intentions for, then just know that that is a validation that yes, that is definitely what's happening here. Um, we have the Ten of Wands. This Ten of Wands card is kind of like a block, okay? So this is telling me that you are your own block. You, you block out spiritual feelings. You block out spirit in general at times. This could be through fear. Or like I said, this could be through certain people in your life that you feel are quite nosy or they're just very limiting to you. They don't believe in the things that you believe in. It's time that you kind of find your own tribe. I know that I say that a lot with other people. It's just... It's so important that we surround ourselves with like-minded individuals and people who are not going to bring you down. Okay, um, next we have the North card. Sorry, I lost my space. <laughs> the North card, where are you? Where is this four card spread? <laughs> Sorry, my love. There we go. Um, north, this is what you need to consolidate or nurture. It's what you need to repair or heal. What you need to take care of in your life. Smudging ceremony. What you need to take care of in your life. Let's see. Let go of the past. Purify, detox, release what doesn't serve or support you in life. Remember what we were talking about of letting go of things? This is what you need to do. This is in order for you to heal from things that are broken or that are breaking you or that are hurting you or making you feel negative about yourself. These are things you got to let go of. The past. Let go of the old, discarded, and unused to make way for new energy and new beginnings. So this is why I was saying for the creation card. Even if you don't feel artistically inclined, you can also express yourself by cleaning, organizing. So perhaps there's a lot of stuff in, around you or in your home that you need to get rid of. That's also a form of self-expression. 
you're making room for a new part of yourself, which is exactly what's going to be happening in the next few months is you're really going to be stepping into a new version of yourself. You're going to be embracing this like this powerful individual rather than somebody who may have been broken in the past. But in order to do all of that, you're going to have to follow the steps, but also release. And that's what's going to be so important. Um, okay, so let me pull the tarot cards from that because that's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, the smudging ceremonies are cleanses. We are letting go. It's a form of, of detox. It's like a spiritual detox. We have the nine of pentacles. We have the, what is this? The daughter of wands. This is the Six of Wands and the Ten of Cups. So there's a lot of healing. There's a lot. Oh, and then the Death card is at your Shadow card. That's at the bottom of the deck, which is transformation, change, and saying goodbye. It's by. It's like letting old things die and renewing, allowing birth to happen. So really ex exciting for you. I'm getting like a mixture of different things. So this could be you know child energy. This could be family. This could be love. This could be a lot. That's your releasing. There's a lot of feelings there surrounding family, surrounding love, emotions, your connections to um, people you really care about. There might be certain people that you really love that you don't want to say goodbye to, but you know deep down in your heart they're no longer holding that space for you anymore. So that could be what that is. Um, the six of wands or the, I'm sorry, this is the six of swords, six of swords kind of re reveals there's a lot of stuff hurting underneath you. Okay. I feel like you have a lot of things buried deep within, but what this rainbow at the top kind of reveals is that you're, you are the type of person that you may allow you, you hold it all in, but on the outer part, you make it appear like everything is okay. That's kind of intuitively, that's what I'm feeling for you. And I feel like it's just like saying you don't want people to worry about you. So you're very close and careful with how you express yourself and how you, how much of yourself you reveal to other people. You would rather people think you're fine than just than, than know maybe that you're hurting or you're broken. Something tells me that um, this Ten of Cups, if this is... If this has to do with um, a romantic connection or someone who's just really important to you in your life that you're afraid to walk away from or you're away, you're afraid to detox yourself from um, because there's a lot of cords attaching you to this individual. This is somebody from the past. This is time to cut the cords. There's a lot of cord cutting meditations that you can search for on YouTube, my love. So you can start there and work your way through it. Sometimes it doesn't take one meditation. Sometimes we have to do multiple of these cord cutting in order to finally energetically release ourselves from these people of the past. So there's a lot of detox that has to take place. Um, a lot of cleansing that needs to happen. I would suggest personal cleansing as well as cleansing of your space, your home, wherever these people or person has influenced you. Um, I feel like your heart chakra needs it a lot. So that's intuitively, I'm, I'm feeling your heart chakra needs it. I feel like your throat chakra. Um, I feel like you're really constricted. Like you don't speak your truth all the time, which is kind of what was coming up in the cards. Um, I also feel like faith-based. I feel like you struggle at times with faith. So intuitively, I'm kind of getting that feeling too. Um, so this is all connection for you. This is all a way for you to reestablish yourself who you are as an, as an individual, as an independent person, as well as how you connect with God and, and getting rid of people that kind of put a sour or a damper um, to that, okay? So a lot of release, a lot of stuff happening this year, but so not only are you coming into your inner power, but are you are also embracing the new phase of release and detox and cleansing yourself of things and people that no longer hold a space in your life. So my love, this concludes your four directions reading. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. 
Um, if you have any questions, send me an email. And anybody who is watching, if you are curious to have your cards read, you can go ahead and click the link below. This was for a flash sale. Um, I will still take orders today, but I may not take any through after that. So um, if you're interested in a reading, you can also check my website and book a session with me there. Send me an email if you have any questions, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, my loves.